Hello! We are excited that you have decided to apply to Nashville State. This tutorial will cover how to submit an application for admission. In your web browser, go to apply.nscc.edu slash apply. On the login screen, choose whether you are a new or returning user. To create an account, enter your email address, first name, last name, and birth date. Then click continue. A temporary pin will be sent to your email address. If you don't see it in your inbox, click on your junk email folder and be sure to add admissions at nscc.edu to your approved senders list. Enter your temporary pin and birth date, then click continue. Set a new password containing at least 12 characters, at least one capital letter, and at least one number, then click set password to continue. Click on Start New Application, choose the term you wish to apply, and click Create Application. Choose that same term, then click Open Application. Fill in your name, including any former names and any preferred names, address, date of birth, citizenship, and social security number. Then click Continue. Please select whether we can text you regarding your application status and registration reminders, your legal sex, country of citizenship, native language, race and ethnicity, then click continue. Answer questions regarding your citizenship whether you live in Tennessee, and how long you have lived in Tennessee. Then click Continue. Answer questions to determine your eligibility for military education benefits. If you are male, you will also be asked about selective service. Then click Continue. Answer questions on this page to determine your application type and major. Once you have answered all questions, click Continue. Click on Add New to enter your high school information. Enter your institution type. If you have a GED or high set or graduated from an international high school, the institution will auto-fill. If you attended a U.S. high school, type the name of the school in the institution box to bring up the school list. When selecting your high school, be sure to pay close attention to the city and state to ensure you are selecting the correct school. Answer questions about your graduation status, date of graduation, and diploma type, then click Save. Once you return to the main page, click Continue. If you have never attended college, you may click Continue to skip this page. If you have previously attended colleges other than National State, click on Add New and use the institution box to search for your school and enter information about your attendance. If you at have attended more than one school, Repeat these steps until you have entered all schools you've attended. If you have attended a school that isn't on the list, please enter unknown prior college and then type the name of the school in the unknown prior college box. When your information is complete, click continue. Answer questions on this page regarding your immunization history. National State does not require proof of immunization. Once you have answered these questions, click continue. If you are under 18, you will not see this page. Instead, this form will be emailed to your parent or guardian to sign after you apply. Enter your emergency contact. This is the person you would want to be contacted in case of an emergency on campus. Then click Continue.
Read the application agreement and disclaimer and type your name as your digital signature. Then click confirm and continue. Review your application going back to fill in any information. Once your application is complete, click submit application. Once your application is submitted, you will be taken to your status page. You can return to this page at any time by visiting apply.nscc.edu slash apply slash status and logging in. On this page, you will see the items that must be turned in to the admissions office before you can be admitted. These items may change when we have processed your application, so be sure to check back frequently to ensure that all documentation is turned in in a timely manner. Some materials can be uploaded to this portal. Click the drop down list to select a material you would like to upload. Choose the file and click upload to submit your information. Transcripts cannot be uploaded to this portal and must be sent through official channels. Thank you for watching our tutorial and we hope to receive your application soon.